we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. I don't know if the reading will be quick. Are they ever? Um, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aquarius, a lot going on. Take advantage of the KTMG monthly call. Also, go ahead and schedule your complimentary uh, discovery call so we can see where you are in terms of business, okay? All right, let's see what's going on uh, for Aquarius. We're gonna pull two cards for the situation at hand, one card for advice, and then the outcome. Let's see, what's going on for Aquarius? What's happening for Aquarius? What's happening for Aquarius? Um, I hear like, um, so like that um, um, pyramid, uh, I don't know, that symbol, pyramid, symbol, upside down triangle also. I don't know, that that, that uh, symbol that's on the money. So something about money. Okay, Aquarius, I don't know. So I'm saying, let's see. Okay, um, the three of cups. Okay, that's what's going on in this situation. So you, you're coming into success, triumph, victory okay moving forward um this could be commercial success too like big big success um could be uh also um maybe online or commerce okay but this is definitely commercial so it's going to be pretty big for you um this could be somebody wanting to <clears throat> come back together you know reconcile they feel like they need to do something big in order to bring you back or get you back or like buy a house buy a dog buy a cat i don't know it's just like um, they, they see success with you and I want to have they want to create something with you could be cancer cancer coming up with the three of cups so uh, second deacon cancer okay so maybe around uh, early July middle not even the middle of July but early July Let's see and then yeah so we've got um, the hermit card okay so yeah, we have the Hermit card and the Three of Cups. So we definitely have somebody who is estranged from you. Uh, I heard let go. You just got let go. Okay, all right. So somebody maybe that let you go or you let them go. There's an energy of somebody wanting to resurface, come back for whatever reason. I feel like something is not over. Like the creation process is not over. They want to express something to you also. Hang on, guys. The battery just went dead, but you can still hear me. So it looks like this person wants to express something to you. They feel like, um, you know, maybe if they need to change something about themselves because the, the hermit card talks about a transition of personality, you know, so maybe they know that they need to change something about themselves in order to come back into your life or they feel like you've had a transition of your personality. You don't want um, what they want anymore. You won't tolerate what they were giving in anymore. It's like you want something different. So this person doesn't know how to uh, come at you. Okay, or how to meet you where you are. It's like they have to come up. This person needs to go into like a self reflection, self reflective energy, and uh, maybe they they're just not willing to do so. 
but they don't know how to. Somebody needs to get under some type of guidance here. Um, take a break, take a rest, um, transition their personality, change, change their philosophy about love and relationship. That's what this person needs to do. They're trying to do or they thought they were trying to do. Somebody needs to find like the godlike quality within them. Somebody needs to get some type of direction. Somebody needs to self-reflect. It could be you, it could be the other person. So, somebody's also under like maybe um, negative karma, judgment. Um, they may want you to come and soothe the the pain or the angst or the the anxiety. What is going on here in the situation for Aquarius? Yeah, eight of wands. So it looks like yeah, somebody's trying to maybe pull you back in, manifest you, attract you, law of attraction. Okay. Um, somebody sees you as very attractive, but very abundant. You're getting a lot of good things happening for you at this present time because you kept doing something. You you continuously did it. Now the obstacle um, that was before you is being removed. Um, things are going to happen rather quickly for you. Um, somebody feels like it's the best time to strike. Um, wow. Somebody feels like it's the best time to strike right now. Yeah, someone feels like it's definitely... So they feel like it's the best time to strike, like strike while the iron is hot, you know, in terms of love. They feel like this is the best time to reach out to you. Maybe um, you'll be receptive to it with the eight of wands. This person could be infatuated with you, you know, borderline obsessed with your energy because the wands are about energy. So it's like they've been without it long enough and they want to recreate it. Maybe this is what has always been happening in the relationship. There was always a breakup to make up. I'm always recreating the wheel here. It was, you know, um, it was always coming back together and feeling like, okay, we got to start at scratch again because we've taken so much time apart. I had to leave you or you had to leave me and now we're back at it again. Um, but it looks like, I don't know, maybe Aquarius, you will give this another go or you will not. The Eight of Wands here says that... Um, yeah, a level of, you know, extreme attraction, infatuation, desire, passion, can't get over you over and over is what they do. Think of you, look at social media, um, want to text you, want to reach out to you, or this is what they're doing, or they do something over and over. This person needs some deep healing, some deep transformative healing on a soul level, a soul cleanse. Um, this person is not self-reflecting, therefore they're not really taking in why the relationship is not working, why you don't want to reconcile, not how they want to. You'll be their friend over the phone, no more, no less than that. This energy of you putting time and distance between you and this person is making this person go crazy for you, even hotter for you. The desire, the burn for you. It's like they, they love the chase, okay? And once they catch you, they just catch you, and then it's the same, and then they probably will leave again. This is somebody who needs to grow up, maturity, maturation of the soul. Somebody is not really understanding or why they met you or don't want to understand it or don't want to go deeper in regards to why this relationship exists. What is the advice here for Aquarius? The two of wands, the ten of swords. So you have to decide this day, are you cutting this out? Are you done with this? Are you done with maybe the drama that this person brings? Okay. The two of wands. Yeah. Um, two of wands and the ten of swords. What does this say? It says it's two different paths that you can choose, you, the in-between, the tried and the true or the adventurous, the one that brings, you know, spontaneity, spontane I can never say the damn word, Sp being spontaneous, right? 
the two ones also says, look, Aquarius, be careful what you decide on because in the two of wands, it could lead you down the road of, you know, karma again or the ten of swords disappointment, being blindsided. There could be somebody coming to you and trying to um, make you decide on them or, um, yeah, it could be a masculine energy, you know, um, that who can't cope with the fact that it's over or it's done or that they need to change or that you have changed. This is some, this could be like one of the mutable signs, maybe Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius. It's somebody who can't cope with the fact that it's over, that you've changed, that it's not the same. They're disappointed. You, they've already disappointed you several times and backstabbed you and hurt you and put you in the corner, you know, to where you had to, you know, fight. This was a volatile situation. Now, there could be physical violence, but volatile in terms of it was just up and down. It's like reading a stock market chart where you see those lines go up and down. That was the relationship filled with so many lows and, you know, a few highs. Um, but definitely a lot of lows here. This person, a, a lot of, okay, I heard low blow. Maybe this person was, you know, taking low blows or you took low blows or you felt like you needed to. That was your defense mechanism because the swords kill be words. This was a trial. This was a test, a tribulation. And the universe is saying, you, you know, it's over. You passed the test. But um, this person wants to resurface. What are you going to do? You only have one major arcana here. It says that you're wise. You're the wise one. This person could be um, coming to you for, you know, wisdom, judgment, uh, good judgment. You're becoming a guru, a teacher also. Okay, for some of you, um, the struggle is over for a lot of you in your lives. This, you, you're coming out of that. You're, you've been out of that or you're coming out of that. You don't have to rest in that energy of feeling like the other shoe is going to drop. Um, so you, you're going to go back to maybe an impoverished life or lifestyle or you don't have to go. You don't have to be in that lifestyle where there's filled with so, you know, a few highs, but a lot of lows that is done. Yep. Because you got newness here. The fool card is the outcome. You So you're on a new journey, a new trajectory, letting something new develop for you. You're no longer in that energy of, well, you know, I would make money, have the money, and then I would go to a place of depletion, and then I would be homeless, or I would be having to scramble for money and work two and three jobs. It says that is over if you allow it to be. If you, this is an, this is the energy of mindset too. This is generational curse. A generational curse can only exist firstly in the mind, you know, um, and then it manifests in the physical. Change your mind. Start thinking positive in regards to the plans that you're making for your future. It says that you're doing two different things to earn income. One of them is going to eventually dominate the other to where you're going to have to just do one different thing, you know. One of those things. It says you found financial security, Aquarius. There's no need to, um, once again, feel like the, yeah, the shoe is going to drop. Like you're just going to you go bottom out, you know? No, you won't. This is a new lease on life, okay? This is following your dream, your heart's desire. Some may feel like it's a pipe dream or it's not real. That's not real work that the Aquarius does. But, oh, do they know? Um, <clears throat> with the world card, it's just like following your dream, not knowing where it's going to go. And, and you land in somewhere great. Can we clarify the world card for the Aquarius collective? Um, there's, again, commercial success happening for you really quickly. A lot of people may be sending you emails, faxes. I don't know if people still fax emails, DMs, whatever. I'm trying to get in contact with you, trying to get um, aligned with you. This could be online type of energy work or work that you do or, or you reach people online. Wow, the Knight of Wands, very nice. So it's, it's about, this is the budding entrepreneur. So it's just a lot of things you need to do, a lot of energy that is happening in regards to you and whatever it is you're starting. This is prime opportunity. The door is open. The universe is open opportunity to you. It says walk through it, take it fast, but finish what you start. Also, 
your charisma, your charm, your smile is going to disarm those who are, you know, kind of still skeptical or disagreement in regards to what you're doing. Wow, you're about to come into the King of Pentacles where um, your money works for you, okay? Um, and you might come into financial abundance more than enough by way of your own hand because you had some system or you took a systematic approach to something. Wow, the Page of Pentacles. This is an idea starting small, but it could actually turn into something great, something big. Whoa, out of the blue, okay? With the um, uh, tower card, sudden upheaval. Damn, hold on, this is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so King, Knight, um, Knight of Pentacles, being dedicated, devoted, loyal, hardworking, not giving up, crossing all the T's, dotting the I's, being a perfectionist, hanging in there, slow and steady growth, and then boom, out of the blue, um, suddenly there's a new opportunity that presents itself to you. Wow. Page of Pentacles. Nothing but money here in the outcome, Aquarius. It's like the universe wants you to know, look, that old life that you was living, that's exactly what it was. It was an old life. Coming to the newness, coming to about higher vibration. It's like you're going to be doing something um, consistently, Okay. Um, divination, tarot, healthy eating, healthy living, healthy um, relationships, learning, also being a student of. You could be teaching others too. Wow, you come into being the death card. Damn, Aquarius, a, a dynamic change from not being known to known, to being famous, not being famous to being famous, um, not having any money to having a whole lot of it go from one dynamic to the next. So it's a big leap. It's a quantum leap. It's not like a, oh, you just, you know, um, you had a hundred bucks yesterday and now you got 105 today. You know, no, <laughs> nothing like that. It's, it's really big. Wow. Because the universe, damn, the chariot card, the universe is really taking you to a place where you're supposed to be. This is the settling of the energy. This is where you're supposed to be. Look up your astrological chart because this is really big for you. This is a time and a place for you to accept, um, okay, recompense, maybe for all that you've been through, all that you have endured. Okay, Aquarius, this is so good. This is the universe, the Merkabot, Merkabot. You're getting in that universal car, if you will, a vehicle and it driving you to the place of success, propelling you to a place of success. Be self-directed, self-focused right now. If you are a person who's concerned about love and love relationships, but you also want to be stable in business or career, those are two competing goals. So you're gonna have to choose one. Do you want the love right now or do you want the business and the career? Because with the chariot card, this is not the best card for love because it's self-directed, self-focused, and it's controlled energy. This is how you get shit accomplished. It is not, oh, I wanna get this accomplished, but also, um, I'm concerned about why this man didn't text me back or this woman ain't texting me back and I'm about to go drive over their house and then I'm going to go. Your energy is dispersed. It is everywhere. You're not going to get much done. So the universe says, you know, settle the energy, get in control of yourself. Um, stay focused. Stay focused on, on self. The one thing about the charity card is see success because they focused on success. They focused on self. Um, the chariot holds one, you know, um, the Merkabot holds one. It doesn't hold many. It doesn't hold two. It's not a two seater. It's one seater and it's controlled energy. So control yourself. If you find yourself more so concerned about love and relationships, well, you know, you ain't got nothing but $10 in the bank. Hold up. Wait, what are you doing? Check yourself. Okay. Or you know that, um, you're concerned about uh, love or you're concerned about money. Or you're, or you're too materialistic, but you want love. And you're willing to buy it or throw money at people. Like, you check yourself too. Because that's not how you find true and pure love. So everybody's situation is different. You know, everybody's looking for something different. You might have to go backwards before you can take a quantum leap forward. Uh, Aquarius, whatever you're doing, you're on fire with it. The devil card at the bottom of the deck. Don't be extravagant in your choices. You might have the opportunity to choose something that is um, 
I heard larger than life. This could be industry. It could be into any type of industry, but like industry, like entertainment in industry. Don't compromise yourself. Don't allow yourself to get uh, entangled, be in an entanglement, right? Um, entrapment. When you choose something and then you're like, damn, how do I get out of this? Or I can't get out of this or I have to go through it to, you know, you got to go through to, to go through, right? You got to go through to get out of it. The only way through is through and you don't want to be going through another karmic cycle or negativity or toxicity. Choose wisely. With the devil card at the bottom of the deck, also scale back. You don't want to be doing anything for the money or doing anything to be successful. Um, have a standard parameters. Have your yes and your no. Or let your yes be your yes and your no's be your no's. And then also, um, you need to have uh, what you, your non-negotiables. Okay, non-negotiables in regards to uh, maybe a relationship or any type of relationship, business, platonic, romantic. I, you know, things you don't negotiate on. Like I don't eat pork. It's just not negotiable, right? Okay, and um. I don't like chicken, right? I don't, but I, it's, it's, it's still up for negotiation, you know, but my non-negotiable, something that I'm not moving on is poor. So you need to have that in terms of dealing with people. Like I'm not going to move on this, but I'll move on that. You know, I can negotiate. This could be in regards to a large settlement. Also money. Um, don't be too overzealous or, um, trying to, uh, this is greed. Don't be greedy. You know, more than enough is what I heard. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates. If it does, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Join the KTMG uh, monthly conference call. Be around other business minded individuals, all things business, how to start, how to maintain, how to grow your business, um, book your complimentary discovery call. Okay. The links are below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. And if you took something from the reading, come on now, give something back. If you're feeling moved to do, do so you could buy me a coffee. The link is below. Um, book your own personal reading like this one at the website level readings like this one are on sale 40% off four zero off. Okay, 40% off, okay? I want to shout out to New York, LA, Chicago, London, uh, Houston, Dallas, Atlanta, Florida, and uh, Philadelphia. I have high viewership there. So I want to say hello, thank you. Let me know where you are viewing from, okay? Let me know how this resonates for you, okay, Aquarius? Many blessings to you. Take care.